Welcome back to the Green Iron Expert. We're starting our ACC football predictions today, and our next team has 15 returning starters from a team that won 10 games last season. Although they did struggle out of the gate, they won five straight to end the season, including a key win in the bowl game. And that team is the Florida State Seminoles. If you will buy into what we're telling you, it ain't about the scoreboard. It ain't about anything but playing the next play. That's the only thing you can control. And I'm going to tell you what, if you understand how to control things, this team can achieve anything it wants to achieve. That's that guard in the gold, boy. Uh, we got to spill my him for a reason, boy. It's for the state. It's for the state, man. I don't care about nobody else. It's the state, man. Florida State has 15 returning starters from last season, including dual-threat quarterback DeAndre Francois. They struggled out of the gate last season, losing to North Carolina and a blowout loss to Louisville, but ended up picking up the slack towards the end of the season, only losing one game to defending national champion Clemson. So this season, they have a tough uh, opener on the road against Alabama. It's really not a true road game. It's at Atlanta, but it's still away from home. As I saw earlier in my Alabama predictions, I do have Florida State winning this game. I feel really confident in their team this year with 15 returning starters. It's a really key factor for me. I think Florida State's going to be good. I think DeAndre Francois has really uh, matured as a quarterback over the offseason. And I'm going to give them the win over Alabama, who has a lot of questions on defense this season. Um, then they go back home uh, against ULM, Louisiana Monroe, Miami, and NC State. Two conference games here. They really don't play their first true road game until September 30th uh, against Wake Forest. But I'm obviously going to give them the win against uh, Louisiana Monroe at home. And then Miami and NC State. Uh, if this game had been at Miami, I would be choosing Miami in this game. You remember last year, Miami lost by one point thanks to a blocked extra point late in the game. Uh, and I think if Miami had won that, they would turn their whole season around. But they lost, and they kind of stuck, uh, struggled throughout the rest of the season. But Florida State gets their rival at home this season, and I'm going to give them the win. But I do like Miami a lot this season. I think they're going to be a big challenger um, in their division. And then North Carolina State, watch out for them. They are a surprise team. Uh, in Florida State's division. They're going to be uh, a real threat. Like I said, I think if one of these games was on the road, I would be choosing that team. But Florida State gets lucky and gets both of them um, at home. And I think I'm going to give uh, Florida State the win there, uh, unfortunately, for NC State Miami. But that doesn't derail their whole season. Then they go on the road to Wake Forest, a team that returns nine starters on offense. Look, It's looking good. They're a team that went to a bowl game last season, I think defeated Temple. Um, and a pretty good blowout. It was a blowout until the end. Temple tried to make a comeback. But it's on the road. Wake Forest, I think, is actually going to disappoint a lot of people this season. They have a lot of starters back, so I think everybody thinks they're going to make it to another bowl game. But I don't think so. I'm going to give Florida State the win here over Wake Forest on the road. And then a bye week after five straight games. Really no huge games before that other than Alabama. So they kind of coasted. I mean, these two uh, Miami and NC State games won't be easy, but they are at home. But then the stretch gets hard here. Uh, with seven straight games, including an opener at Duke after the bye week. But Duke is not the team that we saw a couple of years ago under uh, Cutcliffe. He's a great coach, but they just don't have the talent like they used to. So Florida State gets the win on the road. And then Louisville, huge revenge game here at Florida State. You remember what happened last year? Louisville and Lamar Jackson just ran all over Florida State. I don't think anybody saw it coming. I, for one, picked Louisville to win that game, but not in blowout fashion like that. Well, Florida State just did not show up. But this year they get Louisville at home. It'll probably be a primetime game. Um, and I think I'm going to get Florida State's revenge on this one. They're going to defeat Louisville at home and uh, shut down Lamar Jackson. They're going to know what to expect this time. And they're going to be hungry for some revenge. And that's going to be a key division game too. Louisville somehow goes on the road and upsets that. You could be looking at the division champ right there. Boston College on the road. Um, I like their coach, Adazio. Uh, you know, they're more of a defensive team. Made a bowl game last season. Even though it's on the road, I'm going to give Florida State the win. And then Syracuse, a uh, much improved team. I love that they have. I think they have nine returning starts on offense as well. And they're a good offense too. Keep in mind, uh, Dino Babers, or I think that's how you pronounce it, he uh, was the former head coach at Eastern Illinois, home of Jimmy Garoppolo and Tony Romo. Uh, so he has a high-flying offense. And uh, so Syracuse could be a surprise team or kind of pull off some upsets, but Florida State will get the win at home there. And then two key road games here to close out the season. Florida State is undefeated so far. Uh, what would that be? 9-0? They're 9-0 going into the last three weeks of the season. 
Delaware State, easy win, clearly. So 10-0. At Clemson, at Florida. A lot of people don't like Clemson this year. They're defending national champions, but they lost to Sean Watson. They lost Mike Williams. Lost a lot of key offensive power. And really on defense, well, they didn't lose too many. They still have seven returners coming back on defense. I am picking Clemson to defeat Florida State at Clemson. If it was at Florida State, I'd be picking the Seminoles, but I like that it's on the road uh, for Clemson. I think they're going to get the win over Florida State late in the season. And that can be a key factor in uh, not only the conference, but also the college football playoff. And then they go on to play Florida in the season uh, closer. This will be another huge game, too, for Florida State, because if they were to lose this, you can go ahead and eliminate them from the playoff uh, conversation. But if they win this, they're still in it. I'm giving them a win at Florida. I think they know what kind of stakes, what the stakes will be when they go down to the Swamp. And I think they will get the win at Florida. Uh, maybe not in blowout fashion like it's been in the couple year, past couple years, but they will defeat Florida. And that will give Florida State an 11-1 record to end the season and will probably more than likely play in the ACC championship game. And if they win that, should be a lock for the college football playoff. So... Please keep uh, subscribing and liking and commenting. Please tell me what you think about these predictions. Uh, we're going to continue plowing through the ACC. And uh, let me know what you think. And we will see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.